Hello there and welcome back to Chris's Retro Corner. I'm Chris, this is my Retro Corner and this is my BBC Model B over in the corner. Um, I've wanted to do a composite mod on this for quite some time. If we have a quick look over here we'll see I'm using the composite out the back of the Beeb um, and it's just providing the standard black and white image. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to, to modify it and so we could get a colour signal out of this. I looked it up online and it's surprisingly easy. Now I've done something similar before on my Acorn Electron so let me show you that. When I looked into colour modifying this for the composite uh, out it was surprisingly easy and I'll, I'll show you. I'll see if I can give you a, a nice close up here. Um, there's a solder jumper just here on the board and I've literally just put in two pins and using a using a jumper using a jumper just there um, can change the composite out from black and white to color and, and back again at will um, it just it just stays color there it's just easier um, those of you with a keen eye will spot there's something funny going on over here as well um, yeah pretty sure you can work out what happened over here <laughs> um, but yeah pretty pretty handy pretty handy having a um, color composite and, and audio out from the uh, for the electron there I do want to do something similar with the beeb but for now I just want to color composite mod it um, like I say looking that up online it seems relatively straightforward in most revisions of the BBC mainboard it should just be a case of adding a capacitor at a particular um, point on the board um, and then just jumping that across. So let's turn this off, unhook it and bring that over to the bench for us to work on. Now I don't think this is going to take too long. I do only have a one small T for this particular job. Oh, and nice it is too. Okay, I've already separated the case. So let's have a quick look at what's going on inside. So, having a snoop here, um, we can see that I've got a got an issue four um, BBC B here. And again, like I say, looking up online, um, the capacitor I need to add um, is the one C58. And I've already got that here. Very hard to see without my glasses on right now, <laughs> which one's 58. Um, there it is, there it is, just there. Let's see if I can see if I can show you guys nice, nice and clearly. Um, but that's already there, so which is pretty awesome. Um, and the solder pad there next to it, so that I believe says a uh, S39. Um, all I need to do is make that connection. Um, so it's exactly the same as my electron um, in the fact that I had to sort of make a solder jumper across, I think it's LK414 on that. Um, same thing on this one, on S39. Um, so it should be really straightforward. Um, and I get I get color composite out of my beeb, which would be awesome. Um, yeah, fair enough, I want RGB really, but um, up until the point where I either fabricate or buy a cable, colour composite is going to do me just nicely. Um, I had to scuff around for some uh, for some old stuff knocking about. Um, yeah, found a jumper, found a couple of pins. So yeah, all I'm going to do is take that off, pop that on there because I, I want it to be. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. When I modify my machines, I don't want it to be unreversible, irreversible. There we go. That's the real word. Um, I don't want to do anything sort of too damaging you know I want to be able to put it back exactly as it was if I can um, so yeah I figure a couple of pins on there and then and, uh, and we're done so let's uh, have another quick slurp of tea and um, and we'll get cracking right time to find some kit Okay, I think the soldering iron is about there. So, grab some specs. So 
got to set about taking these pins off the board. So we can probably get some of that solder off there and clean those up just a little bit. Or do we really need to? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, not too bad. The other one hasn't really got anything on there. Cool. So what we do need to do, I think ideally, yeah, it's going to be going to be to take the board out of the beaver. So let's see if we can do that. I've no idea what this switch is doing here anyway. Keep meaning to try and work out where it was where it's heading off to. It looks like it's been cut from wherever it was attached to. But it's a it's a simple it's a simple make or break. But yeah, where it was uh, where it was originally headed to. Just don't know. Just don't know. Take that out and leave that out for the time being. Might reuse that to uh, to activate the internal speaker or to perhaps to reroute it looks like I can I can reroute it internal or external maybe I'll do that do the same mod on the uh, on the beepers I've done with my electron Probably the uh, the first time board of my beeb has uh, has been out of here and uh, since it was built. Who knows? Right, I wasn't keen on uh, wasn't keen on removing the uh, socket there um, for the BNC style composite connector. Um, so we're going to leave that in place for now. But what that should mean is I can get this into a decent position, whereby I can just push through those pins on the board. It's a super spy, super size, super size, super size, HD my vision with a pair of glasses for a second and just make sure that's exactly where we want to put them. So S39. Okay. I like to think that looks straightforward enough. Just think about board position for a second. There we go. I think, that'll, I think that'll do us. We should be able to heat them from above and, and then push them in. Actually, let's, uh, let's pop a little bit of fresh solder on there first, just to just to help things uh, just to help things flow. There is not a massive amount of space to work in here. Just make sure I'm not making a contact underneath the board somewhere. Okay, let's see if we can get the first pin in. It'd be really hard to show you anything, I think. <laughs> I might have to uh might have to revert to some uh, needle nose pliers as well if I can remember where I've put mine no. like that 
much. Okay, let's, let's clean the solder off the board. going to be a lot easier to work with now. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty clean. Okay, that's a lot better. Soup stuff. Okay. Let's have a look at how we're going to do this might be able to see this a little better this way around. So now they're clear, I think a better way to go about this might be to pop the pins back in the block and then relocate these back onto the board. Yeah, lovely. See if that pin will go through the hole just a little bit more. Yes, it will. Fantastic. So yeah. That's all we're gonna need to do, really. Solder those two on from this side. So an awful lot more, an awful lot more clean than it was gonna be. Fantastic. So I've got some leaded solder here. There's this wee leaded solder on the original board. Hold on. Even, even vaguely clean. Yes, it is. Okay. Super stuff. Hopefully, it's as simple as that. Certainly like to think so. Right. So let's pop the uh, let's pop the board back in the chassis, and then we'll uh, give it a test. Well, that was surprisingly fiddly, <laughs> but put the ball back in the right place. I'm not going to screw it in just yet, just in case we've got to take it back out again. done with my tea. Pop the top on. And have a bit of a tidy up. So she fires up, which is great. Let's see if we can't load something. Okay. Well, 
let's go. Well, fantastic, you can see straight away we've got colour. Brilliant stuff, really happy with that. Absolutely awesome. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. Um, now, at the end of the day, um, Acorn made the decision um, to make that composite output black and white for a reason, and that is because it makes a very clean signal, it's very crisp. Um, I don't know, if you, if, you look, if you look harder, it might look better on a CRT, it still might look better on a CRT than this, um, but this definitely fits in the corner better than a CRT. Um, so yeah, I do want to go. I do want to go RGB um, and either fabricate or buy a cable for that at some point. But this is certainly good enough um, for now. Um, and if you're wondering what I might be loading Hopper from, I'm sure you've seen these already. Um, this is a Max Duino Ultimate from YouMakeRobots.com, um, and this week Easter weekend, you can get a 20% discount using the discount code CRC20 at the checkout. Um, at ubankrobots.com and that's applicable to all the SD card solutions that they've got on there and uh, very kindly um, Ricky at Ubank Robots has said that he will donate one of his Auric computers to me at the retro corner here um, if you guys buy 10 or more um, SD card solutions so I'm really looking forward to that it seems to be going okay at the moment we'll see um, but yeah it's a, it's a it's a good bit of fun Ricky's Ricky's been really really good to offer up one of his oryx to me um, it's exceptionally kind of him um, so it's a bit of a win-win situation uh, he gets some sales I might get an oryx you get a 20% discount so yeah CRC20 at the checkout for you make robots.com but for now I'm going to give this a bit of a go. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. Um, if you like what you saw, do give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Um, get in touch in the comments. Tell us what you like, what you didn't like. Um, I'm always game for a chat. But for now, yeah. Let's give Hopper a go in colour, in glorious colour. Oh, took too long. <laughs>